welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm going to offer you a look at six different short, very affordable styles for summer. I was going through some of my inventory and I uncovered a lot of different wigs that I haven't had a chance to review yet that have kind of been uh, stashing for the time being. It doesn't look like I'm going to be getting around to the reviews nor am I going to keep these wigs so I'm going to offer them for sale. So I'm going to be going through these one by one. I'll briefly describe the features and show you each style coming up. So a lot of you know that I do have my website tazswigcloset.com that I offer some what, what I call my fresh hair gallery which is some open box, box wigs as I go through my inventory and decide I'm not going to keep a particular style I'll go ahead and list it on the website. Now today, all six of these styles, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a mini review on them and offer them for sale. All of the details about the sale and how to contact me if you're interested in making a purchase is listed below. Um, I will also list the status of each style. So when a style sells, I'll put sold out underneath in the description. Uh, so only contact me if you're interested in purchasing a style and please check the description below for availability before reaching out. I get a lot of emails every day, and so to cut down on some of that, I'll put all that information below. So let's get started. So the first one that I'm wearing and will be offering for sale is Noriko's Emerson. I think Emerson might have been new for 2017, if I'm not mistaken. It's a short, little, voluminous, pixie-style cut. A very nice price point on this one. It's in the color Sugarcane R. So let's briefly describe this one. So it's a short pixie style cut, lots and lots of volume and long layers on top. So on the front, there's about a 3.75 inch fringe piece and that's all the fiber that splice into the front that wraps around the face about 3.75. So then the layers on the top are really long, about five and a half inches on the layering on the top. Now, a lot of you are gonna like that because not only does it give you great height and volume, it gives you a lot of versatility. I mean, you can just really punk up this style with a lot of different sculptures that you can create on the top. And then that five and a half inch layer does carry back through the crown to give it a little bit of a bump in profile. At the nape, now the napes, this, the description says is about two and a half inches. I have a lot of experience with short styles. It feels more like 1.75 to two inches to me. So if you do have a very uh, long um, natural hairline back there, this may not be ample enough coverage for you. And then there's some layering here on the sides. So the general shape is really high on top and the crown and very slim um, on the sides and at the knee. This is just a traditional cap too. So you're gonna expect lots and lots of permatease. You can part it however you want. That helps keep the price down as well. But you'll expect lots and lots of permatease all throughout the top and the crown. The only place you won't find a lot of permatease on the style is right directly over the ear tab and at the nape. So I'll go ahead and do a full spin and a walk for you so you can see this from all angles. And then I'll just flirt with these layers a little bit so you can get a sense of the movement. This is a very, uh, what I wanna say, a thicker style. The denier is average. There's a lot of hair here. So next up is a really cute little really cropped pixie look from Gabor. This one's called Zest and it's in the color G20 Plus, which is wheat mix. I actually purchased this one a year or so ago. It's been in the box um, ever since. My plan, like I said, was to review it eventually and I never got to it. But this is just perfect for summer if you like short cropped, a uh, very shaggy pixie style cuts. I think this one has a beautiful shape. So you can imagine as a cropped pixie, some of these measurements are gonna be really short. So about 1.75 inches right around the face on the fringe, 
You could brush it straight down. You could sweep it in any direction. They're all just very heavily textured, very wispy and tapered at the ends, giving it a nice shaggy look all over. In the back, about a three inch crown. And then you have a one and a half inch nape. It's really short, although it seems to me that it really comes down under that bone far enough and can be swept off to the side to kind of give you some really good coverage back there. So what I love the most about it, I think, is this, the shape of it. Um, I, it's just, it's long in the places it needs to be longer and short in the places it needs to be shorter. So this is just an open cap design. You're going to see open top, sides, and back. And there's quite a bit of permatease, but you really want some permatease in this style because it's so wispy and light textured that you don't want to be... You don't want to be able to see down into the wefts. Now this is a really light color. This wheat mist is a combination of some like gold and beige blondes. This is not a rooted shade. And so you have to be careful on pale blondes with no root because you can sometimes see down in through to the permatease and to the wefts underneath. Now this one does an amazing job. There's enough fiber there that if even just leaving it alone here, it's going to be ample coverage. Now, if you wanted to pull it back or something, then sometimes you can get a glimpse of those. But just in the style that was intended for, you cannot see down into those wefts, uh, nor does the permatease look super obvious. Now, it's not gonna look like a monotop, um, and with the illusion of scalp, it's just, I think it has really nice coverage for an open top style. I think this, honestly, uh, rivals the best of Ellen Villa's open cap pixie styles. So on to the next one. The next one I'm showing you is Envy's Terra in the color Sparkling Champagne. I think Terra is just another little cute, obscure, a little pixie cut by Envy. It doesn't get a whole lot of press. I don't think I've seen many reviews on this one, but it's absolutely adorable. So it's just a cute little pixie, like a grown out pixie shag. So it has a five and a half inch fringe on the front. I really like that, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, with styling, it also um, gives you a lot of nice coverage. So then you're going to see about a three inch crown in the back. There's a little bit of a bump it right behind at the crown area just to give you a little bit of height right there. I always, I always think that is super flattering. And then about a two and a half inch nape. That nape is a little bit flippy there in the back, but I think it moves very well. And then just some really cute spiky little layers right behind the ear, giving a lot of cuteness. Now I have it kind of tucked behind the ear, but um, that's not really for function. That was just, that's how I like to frame my face with a little bit of a slimmer profile there. But you can certainly bring those layers out to cover the ear, or they easily fit behind the ear. So this is one of the open cap styles by Envy, very affordable, uh, open top, sides and back. Now this one has quite a bit of height on top, so you will find some permatease all throughout the top and the crown, but very little to none here at the back, none at the nape, and none right here over the ear tab, giving it that beautiful slim profile to sculpt this silhouette. So this one is uh, colors, so this color sparkling champagne, a beautiful, kind of a medium rooted blonde with lots of uh, light blonde highlights going through it. It's more neutral to warm and shade. And it's beautiful. I don't think you can see through to any evidence of permatease on the top. Each one of the fibers is very silky and fine, feathery even. Cute, cute, cute.
So the next one I'm gonna show you is John Renault's Jazz in the color 22F16 Blonde Brownie. It's a short, very heavily layered, textured style. This one's been around a little while, Jazz. This is just your standard open, open cap Jazz. Um, Jazz also comes in a mono top and also a petite size. So this was just the average size. All the wigs that I'm showing today are average size. Um, just remember, each average can be a little bit different, so I can't guarantee fit. So let's look at the layering on Jazz. So you have about a four inch fringe piece here. Can be parted in any direction. And on the top and at the back, about five inches on that layer. So it's a little longer there. And then in the back, there are some additional layers and that all blends back into about a two inch nape. So again, a shorter nape, but it seems to have pretty nice coverage in the back. And this is an open cap style, as I discussed. Now, Jazz has a ton of permatease. As you can imagine, it's an open cap style, and you can see down into the permatease. And because it's such a light color, a light blonde, you can even catch some glimpses of wefting on the top, you'll have to use a little bit of strategic styling there to, uh, cover, to cover that up. If I were purchasing this wig for myself and had to do it again, I'd probably order like a 12 FS8 or something just to give me a little bit of a root color up there. I mean, I like the wispy texture. It's just that sometimes with really light colors, you can really get into um, exposing wefts and permatease, but it is super cute. 22F16 is kind of a combination of ash blondes, supposed to be more of a medium ash blonde mixed with a, a light ash blonde. It's, a, it's one of the lightest ash blondes that John Renault offers. So now I am wearing Renee of Paris's Tango. Um, if you remember, I did a review on this one. The color is Canyon Stone, which is a, kind of a very graduated gray. So I think this wig can be really cute with some styling. Um, now a lot of you really gave me the business for doing such a color, but I gotta tell you, I am not here to always show you shades that I look good in. If this wig is being provided to me for a review, I'm going to review it. There's plenty of you out there that really enjoy seeing a variety of colors and styles. Now, if I'm purchasing the wig for myself, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna buy it in a color that I personally wear. And there was just a lot of rude comments um, on this when I did this review, like, Taz, you should never wear that color, please take it off, blah, blah, blah. You know what, I think that's extremely rude and very disrespectful of people out there that really wanna see these colors. So again, a very nice graduated gray, kind of white graduated salt and pepper, and then more black in the back. The front pieces here are about three inches right off of the front, and then you have a very long fringe and crown at about six inches. And that does taper down into a 1.75 inch nape in the back. I think the style is cute. I mean, I think the shape of it is really cute and you can really work these longer layers. More of a smooth effect, really kind of a, a punk, more of a punky youthful look out of it. You could also look like a mad person if you really wanted to. <laughs> but everybody likes something different. Isn't that the beauty of being able to have so many different choices. This is just an open cap style, so you're gonna see a lot of permatease all over. Um, multiple parting options is the plus side of that. Our final style today is one by John Renault. It's called Chelsea. It's in the color Shaded Sun 2017 613 S8. 
and I think Chelsea is just adorable. It's well made, it fits well, there's lots of great coverage on this style, and it also is just an open cap style. So in the, in the front you have about a three inch fringe piece here that can be swept down straight across or it could be swept to either side, about 3.75 inches on the crown and about a two inch nape. So you'll see spiky textured layers everywhere on this style. It has quite a bit of permatease, as you can imagine, on an open cap, right along the top and on the crown. Very little, if any, here above the uh, temple here at the ear tabs, and none at the nape. I think there's some really nice coverage on this style, and I just like to take my hands and kind of pull out some of that texture. You could use a little bit of water or even some styling paste, and I think it's just really superbly shaggy. And it tends to kind of stay where you put it, which is also nice. everybody for joining me today for a look at six short affordable styles so even after these wigs are sold I'll go ahead and continue running this video that way you can get a look at six, six different affordable pixies all in one place have a great summer we'll see you next time on Taz's wig closet at wig studio one